Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Living la vida woke Thanks so much for all the love on the previous video. If you haven't seen it, please go watch. We tried Korean hot dogs. It was a lot of fun. So thanks so much for all the views on that video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Today, as you can see behind me, we have ingredients to make homemade queso. It's a Texas favorite here. If you've never had queso, it is a cheese dip. And I wanna shout out my friend, Rhonda. I don't have her exact recipe, but I did get inspo from her. Um, I would usually put ground beef in my queso, but hers had um, Jimmy Dean sausage and I didn't know like that was a thing. So that's how I started making mine and bomb. So if you wanna have the recipe and if you wanna make some, maybe for like, holidays or for like super bowl games sporting events stuff like that this would be a good thing to make then so stay tuned keep watching and let's make some queso so here are the ingredients you're gonna need you're gonna need some chips you know i have blue corn tortilla chips i also have some scoops i love these because you can use them to dip you see like hold stuff um, and then you're gonna need some Jimmy Dean sausage, regular or spicy, whichever you prefer, the one pound. You're also gonna need one to two cans of Rotel. I usually just use one, but we will eyeball it. So one 10 ounce can of Rotel, original or mild or spicy, whatever your preference is. And then you're gonna need some Velveeta or any kind of like a pasteurized cheese product of your choice sometimes you know the off brands are available to you as well whichever you prefer they also have white cheese if that's your thing um, so I just do Velveeta and a 32 ounce which is two pounds of cheese this is normally enough for a family of five I mean we don't overdo it and like eat a ton of this but if you are going to be having a large party then you probably want to times two this recipe okay the next thing you're gonna need is some cream or milk. I obviously still need to put it in there. And then this is garnish, optional for you. I'm gonna slice some jalapenos and put them on top. Um, I don't do it spicy like that for the kids sake, so that's why it's on the side. I'm also gonna slice some avocado and place it on top as a garnish. So if you like avocado, I would encourage you to buy some of those as well. And last but not least, obviously we need our little uh, bowls to put your queso in, makes it easy cleanup. So yeah, that's pretty much the ingredients, guys. Super simple stuff. Um, and we can get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually um, saute or cook the sausage in a pan. That's the only step really that you need to take um, that's hard, I would say, or involves a lot of cooking. The rest is just in the crock pot. You literally just chop this up, open the can, toss it all in together, add a little milk, keep stirring it. It's a very simple process, but we will get started on the first part, which is cooking the Jimmy Dean sausage. So keep on watching. I mean, like it naturally releases a lot of oils, so we don't need to release more. So just break it up, cook it. You wanna cook it till it's brown. Hi, honey. I'm making queso. You wanna say hi to the channel? Say hi, YouTube. Oh, <laughs> swimsuit girl. They were playing outside. You're wet too? Cool, dude. I wanted to show you how brown it should be. This is about how I like it. So just to golden brown, make sure you break it up as you're cooking it and it should look something like this, okay? Okay guys, so now my cheese, I just basically cut it up in little cubes. I'll show you that. So just like slice it like this. Here, let me show you. I am trying to cook with one hand. So kind of like that, okay? Then I just cut it like this. Then I just cut it in half, like that. Like big chunks like this, okay? So I'm gonna do that to the whole cheese block. guys we have our cheese cubed up 
I opened a can of my Rotel and we're going to leave the juice. So I'll show you what we're going to do. And get your crock pot and mine is just staying like this guys we have hard water here so i promise it's clean so what i do and i don't like using uh the liners because i just don't like that which is probably why my crock pot looks like this <laughs> but i like to put the look at the bottom so that the cheese doesn't start melting and stick so first i put one can of rotel on the bottom and then i'm going to layer my cheese on top Okay, so you can start adding your cheese. And my crock pot is not on right now, guys. This is the beauty of all of this. You can make this, have it ready in a couple of hours. I will say it probably takes like, if you're doing slow on the crock pot, it can take about one to two hours, one and a half hours. I'm gonna do um, high first and then slow it down once I see it's melting. So you do that, you add your cheese in, okay? And then guys, your next step is going to be to add in the beautiful sausage that you browned right on top there. Even with the grease, that will taste good. If you want to drain the grease, you can. Okay. I normally don't do it like that, but I'm trying to cook with one hand. So this is what you should be looking like. Rotel, cheese, sausage, okay? Just like this. All you're gonna do, put your lid on super simple you're gonna go ahead and put it on high i'm gonna go ahead and leave it on high and then what i'm gonna do is just keep checking it guys maybe every 15 20 minutes you need to keep stirring it that's what i would say make sure you're checking on it stirring on it i don't add the milk right now i actually add the milk once it's actually um a little bit melted because i don't want it to like curd or anything like that so i wait to add the milk in or cream so we will see because you want to kind of have it at the right consistency guys so i will show you that process so for now just how they say on those infomercials set it and forget it but except don't forget it come keep stirring on it okay guys so for now i'll check back with you guys once it's a little more melted you can start you know cutting up your jalapenos in the meantime and slicing your avocado as well prepping your chips all of that good stuff Okay guys, time to check on our beautiful queso. Now that's more like it. That's kind of, you can kind of tell already the consistency is perfect. So I've just come to keep stirring and checking on it. But I think we've got the perfect consistency. Now you see, it's not too thin, not too thick. And you got all your great stuff in there. All right, so we're gonna pour it, we're gonna garnish it, and we're gonna do a taste test. Woo! All right, guys, so I've garnished my queso. I have my chips ready to go. Okay, guys, so Mila's here. She's gonna do a taste test. Go ahead, Mills. Oh my Let me show them. Show them what you're doing, girl. Okay. How is it? Mom? Mom. She's reaching for another chip, guys. That means it was bomb. Let me try it. Look at that. I'm going to share with you guys. All right. Cheers, guys. We did it. We made queso. Mmm. That's amazing. We love queso in this house, right? Yeah. All right. Help me close out the vlog. Please, guys, try it. It's so, so good. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Mom's being way too much. <laughs> We're going to eat this now. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining us in this video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. All right, guys. We got another taste tester. Okay, hold on. I'll give you a chip. One to ten. 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 Yes. 20. 20. All right. It's good? Kid approved?
Stimmen zu kaufen.